Hey Alpha Strikers, welcome back to the Alpha Strike. Here you have Professor Erks showing you his new X team. So, this team we have Professor X from the Uncanny X Men set, we have Storm the Common from the Uncanny X Men set, two, count them, two Death Adders from the Superior Foes of Spider Man set, and one Anaconda from Superior Foes of Spider Man as well. So, let's explain what they're going to do. Professor X, he's on a team for a couple different reasons. He has a 10 range with mind control, which is very important, and an outwit and a super outwit if you so want to do that. Next, we have Storm. She's great for her 50 point cost because she's got the um, perplex, stealth, and the free action smoke cloud. So keep my team safe, as you guys will soon see. Two Death Adders. These two, the reason why we're playing them is because they have stealth on trait. Okay. If they're in water, they get super stealth. They can't be targeted by anyone unless somebody is adjacent to them first. So, that's pretty cool. Oh, sorry. And they have Flurry Blades Claws. Don't forget that, guys. That's very important to my team. Last thing, we have Anaconda, and she is on hypersonic duty. She is keeping them away from your team at a distance to where you can just get them and tear them apart. That's her role in all of this. So... Let's go on to how to start this team. So in your starting area, we're going to place our teams in such a way that we can have Storm, who's amazing for 50 points, have I mentioned that? She can carry because she's got the flight ability. So you have about like this. You want to make sure Anaconda is going to be able to protect the team, keep out off the side. First things first, you're going to have Storm carry one of your death adders. Make a kill box, guys. So Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's got a speed of eight, so I can go six squares. About to here. So I'm going to carry up, drop a death adder right there. Then we're going to bring up another one. We only have three action guys, 300 point team, by the way. So we're going to carry this other one up here next. One, two, three, four. They have phasing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Phasing, by the way. And then we have to make sure that Anaconda can keep our team safe. Fresh X can wait for a little bit, guys. This is first turn. Just make sure you're not out there far before they can get into their kill box. Make sure you count theirs first, but make sure you're in a position to retaliate back. So, Anaconda, we want her to watch out for any hypersonicers. So she's going to get up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least here, here, or here. Somewhere where she has two squares and line of fire. For her plasticity. Okay, keep that in mind, guys. That will be your first turn. Now, the object of this team, okay, at this point, you're trying to create what I call a blender. Mike Nito may have mentioned this one or twice, maybe not. It's been a while. Anyways, so from here, what you do is you're going to plan your turns, clear, make smoke cloud tokens to keep your guys stealthy and plus one to defenses. She's got shape change, so that really helps her a lot. And perplex, make her a whopping 19 from range. With shape change, people aren't going to want to come get that. So, that's, that's something to think about, guys. As you're going through turns, you want to get Professor X up to a point where he can see 10 squares out, find the figure you want to take out, and bring him to the blend zone. That's what we're going to call it, the blend zone. Okay, at this point, we can now... Say, okay, Professor X, mind control, plucks up his attack through her. We want to make sure Death Adder is not in the way, so we let's say we've adjusted a little bit like this, so they're still both safe at some point. She can sidestep out of the way. So I want I'm gonna move Death Adder here. That's where I want him. She's gonna move here. Keep protection for plasticity. Right there. That's still up to here, the further she can see. And then uh, so yeah, here for now. But, flex up his attack to 11, grab your target, hit mind control, no matter how many points it is, he will take feedback damage if it's over 150 points, so keep that in mind, but pushing him, or taking that feedback is not bad. He was up to 11. Bring your know, mind control your guy, bring him 8, 9, 10 squares where you need to be, at least as long as he's out here, 2 squares from these guys, that's where you need to be. These guys all have generation 2. She has generation 2. So if you made it so she was up here, 
and the complex and he can still see them, you now have made three characters that can just blend the figure. For instance, check this out. Well, say that my marker is a figure I've mind controlled, walked him. He's all, hi guys, I'm your friend now. He's going to die. Sorry. <laughs> so, all right, now the fun starts. We have two to thighs with flurry blades claws and ten attack. And if they, let's see, hit you. Oh, if their character's less than 100 points, damage can't reach below one. So if they have impervious or invuln, for whatever reason, at that multiple of points, they are doing mountains of damage. So you'll have four attacks, just roll, 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 blades, 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 blender. And just keep repeating that. He's got willpower on every click but his last two. So if you can keep on his last two, you can get there. And guess what, guys? As an added feature, Storm has X-Men. So if it comes up, you can heal Professor X. Something to think about. But this can change. This team is not staple in stone. I love it the way it is. This will kill figures, I promise, guys. If you're going to be dealing five attacks to one figure, if it's not dead, it better be Absorbing Man from Iron Man, okay? Where he's just rolling every hit he needs to. So give that a try, guys. Let me know how it does. I love your story about how, how the teams come in, you know, if they did work for you at your venues, you know, that's always fun for me. And remember, guys, strike first and strike hard.